It was a horrific mass shooting back in 2018. 10 people shot on a busy stretch of South Claiborne Avenue on a Saturday night. Three of those victims died. Now, more than three years later, New Orleans police announced an arrest in the case. That's right, 32-year-old Jamal Smith has been named as one of two gunmen in that shooting. Records show he has been in custody since 2019 on separate federal charges. Those federal charges include dealing marijuana, being a felon with a firearm, and possession of a firearm while drug trafficking. His rap sheet also shows prior convictions and prison time for earlier gun and drug convictions. Smith has now been named by the NOPD as a perpetrator in one of the most shocking mass shootings to take place in the city in the past decade. In a previous video I made, I showed how crazy New Orleans is and why it's the murder capital of America. The city is filled with demons that are willing to kill anyone on a moment's notice. The subject of today's video is no different. The subject of today's video went to war with the deadliest crew in New Orleans and survived attempts on his life. He did so much dirt in the streets that various factions around the city wanted him dead. The subject of today's video is so demonic and reckless that he allegedly shot into a large crowd of people, not caring who was in the way, just to take down one of his ops. The subject of today's video is not other than Jamal Smith, aka Maul, and today we're going to be telling his story. But before we get into the video, please be sure to like and subscribe. Jamal Smith, also known by his rap name Ink Sicko, but most known by his nickname Maul, grew up in New Orleans, Louisiana. He was from the Calio Projects. This housing project gained notoriety throughout the city for its extremely high crime rate. The project was built between 1939 and 1941. During the Calliope's early days, it was considered a means for working class families to live comfortably while saving up the funds to purchase their own homes. Since the early 1980s, rival drug dealing rings have operated in and around the Calliope area, spawning what the law enforcement community in New Orleans called a seemingly non-stop cycle of retaliatory violence. According to the New Orleans Police Department, the violence escalated in the late 80s, peaking in the early 1990s. After drug kingpin Sam Scully Clay was gunned down in the Calliope in 1987, the drug trade spiraled out of control in a war over the drug trade in that area. From 1993 to 2004, 88 people were killed in the Calliope projects. The Calliope is at war with the deadliest crew in New Orleans called the 39ers. The 39ers are a mix of members of the 3 and G gang from 3rd and Galvez and G Strip gang from Galilear Street. Authorities connected members of the 39ers to over 45 murders throughout the city. Eventually, events would transpire that would cause Maul to become their top target. Mal really became a savage following the death of his cousin Omig, real name Omar Brew. On March 15, 2009, Omig was riding in a Lexus with another person on Magnolia Street, approaching South Claiborne, when a man wearing a white t-shirt and a black bandana emerged from the sunroof of an unidentified white car in the right lane. The man pulled out a handgun with an extended clip and began to shoot at the Lexus. The shooting continued through the South Claiborne intersection when another gunman began shooting from a second unidentified white vehicle in the right lane. After about 20 rounds were fired, the Lexus continued through the intersection and bumped into something, then veered right and crashed into a fence. The two unidentified white cars with the gunmen in them turned left onto South Claiborne. An 18-year-old passenger fled the Lexus after the crash, but was later transported by paramedics to the hospital, where he was treated for a single gunshot wound. Nearly an hour later, Omeg would be discovered in the driver's seat with multiple gunshot wounds and would be pronounced dead at just 25 years old. A member of the 39ers named Black, real name Control Hickerson, would be charged with this murder. This incident would change Maul forever and make him hate members of the 39ers with a passion. Following the death of Omig, Maul really started to build a name for himself in the streets and became a feared killer. 
According to court testimony that took place when the 39ers were taken down by RICO charges, Maul was accused of killing a 39ers member named AP. This would cause Maul to become the 39ers number one target and they would eventually come after him. On May 19, 2010, Maul and one of his friends named Lester Green were riding in a gray Acura near the intersection of South Rendon Streets when a red Chevrolet minivan pulled up and gunman in the van fired over 26 rounds from an assault rifle at them. Lester was shot once in the head and was tragically pronounced dead at just 21 years old. Jamal was struck as well, but survived his injuries. Five members of the 39ers, including the infamous killer Gregory Rabbit Stewart, were charged with this murder and attempted murder. Gregory would go on to testify in court what happened on this day and the events that caused them to target Maul. And what neighborhood was Jamal from? The Calio. Did the 3NG guys like T-Red or Rat? Did they ever tell you about the Calio guys? Yeah. AP had got killed and Red used to always tell me like, man, I want, I want that boy Ma, man, you know. Who was AP? He off 3rd and G. That's one of the Ratten and partner. They believed that Ma had killed AP? Yeah. So what happened the day that Ma and Lester got shot? Well, I seen Ma get out the car when Nelly got out the car. And I told Nelly, I said, man, listen, hold Ma up. Because Nelly know Ma too, because Ma was hanging in the ninth ward too. I'm like, hold that boy up. I'm about to go get red and then to kill that boy. This incident would make Maul's hatred of the 39ers grow even further. Following the attempt on his life, Maul would lose another loved one to the 39ers. On December 20th, 2010, Jerome Hampton, a.k.a. Man Man, and a New Orleans rapper named Magnolia Shorty were shot multiple times while seated inside a Chevrolet Malibu. Both were pronounced dead at the scene as each suffered multiple gunshot wounds to the head and upper body. Five members of the 39ers named Gregory Rabbit Stewart, T-Red, T-Bone, Rat, and Freaky were in a white Crown Victoria that was owned by Greg's girlfriend. The car was being driven by T-Bone as the group was looking to locate Jerome Hampton. Once they found him, they pulled up near Jerome's car while it was in a parking lot of an apartment complex. Greg, T-Red, Rat, and Freaky exited their car and opened fire with several semi-automatic weapons, killing Jerome and Magnolia Shorty. While being fired upon, Magnolia Shorty, who was the driver of the Chevrolet Malibu, accelerated the vehicle, which then crashed into a wooden fence. According to the NOPD, there were over 50 spent shell casings at the scene of the murder. Jerome Hampton was a well-respected member of the Calliope and had a reputation for being a killer. Having recently returned home from prison, Jerome made it known that he was looking to kill Merle Ofray who was one of the highest ranking members of the 39ers. Due to these threats, top 39er hitman Gregory Stewart and his associates were ordered to carry out this murder. With all of the pain that Maul dealt with at the hands of the 39ers, it's no surprise that he would do something crazy in response. On July 28, 2018, Maul would allegedly carry out a horrific act. On this day, a 39er member named Jeremiah Lee was standing outside in a crowd outside Jazz DeCurie's lounge when two shooters arrived, one carrying a rifle and one armed with two pistols. As Jeremiah began to run away into the crowd, the shooters fired at him indiscriminately, not caring who else was hit as long as they took out their target. They were able to successfully kill Jeremiah, but they also killed two innocent bystanders in the process and injured seven others. The two innocent bystanders that were killed were Taisha Watkins and Kershaw Jackson. Police believe that Jeremiah Lee allegedly killed a man named Kareem Dowell before his death, and this put a target on his back. Jeremiah had been shot in an incident prior to this, but survived. Following the mass shooting, the killers went to extreme lengths to cover their tracks. They ditched their stolen getaway car and set it on fire within two hours after the shooting. The police were clueless on who both shooters were, but Ma would ultimately be charged for it years later. 
Ma was eventually linked to this crime after the NOPD received a Crime Stoppers tip that Ma was one of the two gunmen in the shooting. Police later learned that he was already in jail in Jefferson Parish, where he was being held on a federal weapons charge and drug charges. In October of 2021, Ma was officially charged with three counts of second degree murder and seven counts of attempted second degree murder. Man, this story was crazy. It's sad to see so many people lose their lives, especially the innocent people caught in the crossfire that had nothing to do with this beef and didn't sign up for the street life. RIP to everyone that passed away in this video, especially Taisha Watkins and Kershaw Jackson. Let me know what you guys think about this situation in the comment section and please be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.